Right, good day, good day, 12s, and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be chatting about cross referencing. Now, this is within Microsoft Word, and uh, this comes from module 3.2. So, first of all, what is cross referencing? Well, all it is, it's a feature in Word that allows you to link to other parts of the same document. In order to do that, we're going to go to the insert tab. We're going to go over to where we would usually insert a hyperlink or a bookmark. And then we've got another option here that says cross referencing. Let's see what it says. It says refer to specific places in your document, such as headings, figures, and tables. It also tells us that a cross reference is a hyperlink where the label is automatically generated. It's great if you want to include the name of the thing you're referencing. Okay, so I'm going to use an example in the textbook so that um, we can go through this together. So you can see I've got the document contribution school paper open and the first thing they want me to do is just to create a hyperlink from the word competition and this is found on page number two so i'm going to go there page number two okay so there's competition they want me to create a hyperlink how am i going to do that i'm just going to highlight it go up to the insert tab go over to link or hyperlink click on that and what do they want me to do um add a hyperlink from the word competition on page two to the bookmark example competition so it's a place in this document and i'm going to go down there that's where they want me to link it to and yeah that's all the screen tip that must display is as an example so there we're going to click on screen tip and it must read an uh, example okay Click OK, click OK, and that's done. So you can see when I move my mouse point over, it's saying an example. Okay, how do I know it worked? Well, if I click, if I press on control and I click on it, it'll take me to where I want to be. Okay, all right, so that's sorted out. Let's go back. Let's go back. What's the next thing they want us to do to say now? Replace the triple arrows. So yeah, I can see I've got two sets of them highlighted in blue. Okay, so that's the one. I'm just going to highlight that uh, with a cross reference. So now I know I'm going to go up here and I click on cross reference. What do they want me to cross reference? They want me to cross reference to the heading appendix. So reference type, that's going to be a heading. And you can see we've got a number of different types over here. So I'm going to cross reference to a heading. And then you can see this changes. You can also see by default it's ticked as an as a hyperlink okay so when it's inserted we'll be able to use it as a hyperlink all right so for which heading uh let's see what they want us to do appendix article submission so let's go down appendix article submission form and let this heading text replace that okay so we can see also now here insert reference to the heading text and uh, what do they want? The heading text. Yes, heading text. And we click insert. And you can see how that changed over there. Right? Now, if I go here, you can see there again, I can press on control link and click to actually follow that link. Do one more. Next one they want me to do is the, or the green arrows over here. Want me to insert a cross reference. I'm just going to click on cross reference. What reference type? Well, the first one is now to a photo with a caption. Okay, so they actually want me to reference to a caption because there's nothing here for a photo. Okay, numbered item, footnote, endnote, figure. Yes, 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 because that, that's going to be my caption over there. So figure and which one is it figure one cute photo okay i've got that selected leave that tick in there and what are they saying and let the entire caption there we go you can see our options they want the entire caption must replace uh, those arrows click on that click insert and there you can see it's done you can also see if i right click on it i've got options to edit the field to update the field in case what it's referring to as been changed okay so guys that's how we do our cross referencing and you can see it is different to doing our normal hyperlink